welcome to all of you in my channels in the today session we are going to discuss with the parental care in feces parental care can be defined as an association between the parents and the offspring so as to increase the chance of the survival of the young ones and it feces it includes all the for swimming care of the offspring by the parents parental care verse it defined to the the association between the parents and offspring means they have a relation between to the parents and offspring so as to increase the chance of the survival of the young son so offspring is easily survive in the this atmosphere and in feces it include all the post spamming care of the offspring by the parents most feces do not care for their eggs or young and leave the spamming grounds soon after fertilization mostly feces not care to the their eggs or young they leave it. they lay to the uh, eggs after the fertilization in any one grounds the lack of parental behavior is correlated with production of great number of eggs and sperm but there are many feces where definitely parental care has been evolved parental behavior is lack because it is correlated with the production of large numbers of eggs and sperm but many feces have a parental care for their offspring various devices have been adopted to ensure proper development of the eggs into adults different different types of uh, adaptation occurs for the development of the egg in adults various both the sexes may participate in the process this includes selection of a suitable site nest building and various other method of protection of the larvae in this process both sexes are participate um, and they have selected a protected or suitable site they form a nest and various other types of uh, for protection the larvae of offspring species which do not exhibit any special device for safety of the ova generally produce a very large number of eggs to increase the chance of survival of eight list of few of them species any one species have a safely lay to the ova in any safe place generally produce a very large ova so they try to the increase numbers of ova survive in this types of atmosphere x of many species process various mechanism for attachment to stone pivables or aquatic vegetables so that they are prevent them being washed away with the currents of water now the female fish lay to the egg various places like uh, attachment to the stone or aquatic vegetation in this step process the egg is protected by to the currents of water now we are discussed to, uh, about nest building building some species prepare crude nest for egg laying at first a suitable place for preparing the nest is selected and some species may defend the place till death some species develop a nest for egg laying they firstly select to the um, protected or suitable place for preparation nest and now some species defend the place till death males of many species like the darters sunfishes and cichlids prepare a swallow basin like nest for laying eggs by females many species of males uh, fish prepare a swallow basin nest 
now of the females lay an egg in this prepared nest. The stone and pebbles are removed from such nest and male keeps close watch over the egg till hatching. After the hatching process of the eggs, the male is protected to the nest. Uh, a few species, however, leave the nest unprotected. Many freshwater fishes prepare crude nests with aquatic vegetation where eggs are laid. The sound species leaves the net nest unprotected. <coughs> Sometimes we is, uh, we are not uh, um, safe in the nest. The many freshwater species prepare a uh, other nest with the aquatic vegetation where eggs are laid. Protopterus and Lepidocerium prepare deep hole in to wall, which the female lay eggs. Male protect the nest till development is complete. In the Protopterus and Lepidopterus fish, prepare a hole in length. And after female lay in the holes of egg, male protect the nest till development is complete. Emia calva, prepare a crude circle nest among aquatic vegetation. Emia calva, it is also known as a woofing. It is prepared a crude circle types of net in the aquatic vegetation. Okay. Now, the fertilization over protected by male who keep guard over the nest till the young ones are hatched. The ova protection are very important. So, the male fish is protected to a young ones or hatched egg. Now, it is perform a guard like function the young ones are allowed to leave the nest in a body under the protection of fathers both the male and female of some catfish of north america prepare a crude nest in mud for egg laying male and a female both prepare a nest in the mud region for egg laying. This type nest occurs into the catfishes of North American fish. The nest is sometimes provided with protective tower of logs, stone, etc. Sometimes nest also have a protection. So the nest protection for logs, stone, etc. Most interesting example is provided by the male sticker back gasterosus esculates a small freshwater fish of north american lakes and ports the male fish actually build a nest of dead aquatic weeds which are joining together by a sticky secretion produced from the kidney sometimes they form a nest uh, dead aquatic weeds join to each other on a in the between space, they secrete a sticky like structure from the kidneys. Now we are from a nest. The male makes a small tunnel after the formation of tunnel and a elaborated courtship ritual. The male drugs are a mature female into the tunnel for laying eggs. After laying eggs, the female swims away and the male keep watch over the fertilization egg till development is over. Now in some species male develop a small tube means tube like structure develops for nest. Now, after the formation of tunnels the female is lay in these tunnels uh, of egg. After laying eggs the female is swam. Now watch over to the males. Uh, fertilization egg is development is over. In addition, formina is prepared by blowing of bulbs of air and sticky mucus are also uncounted in many feces. The many feces develop a foamy nest like structure. In this nest, the form of bulbs of air and sticky mucus structure surrounding the egg. 
the bulbous of air and mucus adhere to form a floating mass of foam the eggs are col- collected by the male in his mouth cavity and throw them in such a way that the eggs can adhere to the lower surface of formines this type of clearing for eggs is found in beta necropods and many other species like in this type of nest the form a sticky mucus or bubbles of air like nest so this type nest floating mass of the forms and the eggs are collected by to the males in the mouth cavity and now he, he is through them in such a way and the egg can adhere to the lower surface of the foamy nest now we are discuss to the mouth cavity as shelter means the some fishes have a um, lay leg lay or egg in the mouth cavity it become a shelter like structure in some species egg develop within the mouth the parents in many cases the females carry the egg in her oral cavity the some species of fish the egg lay in the mouth of the parents mostly the female fish carry to the egg her oral cavity after hatching the young fry do not leave the shelter from sometimes and swim about in water very near the mouth so that they can return to it is case of danger after the hatch of the egg the young is swim in the uh, nearby to the waters and so that they can return to easily by the of their mothers in the catfish areas and male carries the eggs and young young ones in his mouth and does not take food during these periods in the catfish areas the male have a eggs in the mouth and at these times they not take a food or food now we are discuss about coiling round eggs in butterfish folly so the egg into a rounded ball and then one of the parents remains on guard and possibly males guard to the egg ball by coiling round it in the butterfish the egg covered by to the rounded ball like structures and after the parents this types of uh, eggs uh, guard a possible male guard the egg ball by coiling round it now we discuss the attachment to body in curtus indicus the male develop a bony hook projection from the forehead and he is supported by a special process of skull bone the some species develop a hook like structure in on your body like a forehead parts and it is supported by a special skull bone the egg are grouped in two bunches with the help of filaments process the egg maintains and in this type of uh, structures development for protection of eggs the eggs are attached to the hook of the forehead in such a way that one bunch of egg lay on the either side of the head of the males and as he swims in water the egg lay of females on the forehead of males now the bunch of eggs is protected in this type of structures and now we are swim in the waters now we we are discuss about formation of integumentary cups in a catfish predictors of brazil so an interesting method of parental care during breeding season the skin of lower surface of the body of the female fish become soft and spongy in the catfish so interesting method for the parental care like the during a breeding season the skin portion is very soft and spongy
become a soft and spongy immediately after fertilization of the eggs the female pressures her body against the egg in such a way that each egg become locked in a small integumentary depressions each egg is attached inside the cup by a inconspicuous stalk the egg remain in this position till hatching after the egg hatch the they form a this uh, cup like structures may they lay an egg in this structures now we are discuss about development of brood pouch you have also known as this type brood pouch occurs in the sea horse in the pipe fish segnetos and sea horse hippocampus the egg develop within the brood pouch of the males male develop a brood pouch like structures and after female lay a egg in this type of brood pouch the egg are transferred into the brood pouch by the female and development take place within the brood pouch the egg are transferred into the brood pouch by the female and development take place within the brood pouch of the males now we are discuss to the membrid pouches mermaid pouch this figure indicate mermaid pouches of elasmo branch fish owl parrot shark lay fertilized egg inside the protective horny egg capsule or mermaid pouch which remain anchored to the sea weeds by their long tentacles many oviparous shark means that they lay a egg these type shark lay a egg in in the protective horny egg capsules or pouch like structures and now we protect it to the eggs the young hatch out after rupturing the egg case now the hatch of egg and development of the offspring so these offspring recup ruptures the egg or pouches now we are discuss to the viviparity of fish the highest degree of parental care is found in viviparous fish where young development within the oviduct the females large amounts near the parental scarce occurs in the viviparous type of fishes because that they develop a young ones in the oviduct of the females a few species are viviparous such as the dogfish coleodon and surfish semestrogaster aggregators both fertilization and development are internal fertilization and development of offspring are internal developing embryos are nourished mostly by yolk sac placenta and the young are born with with the characteristic of the adults the embryos provided a nutrition by a yolk sac placenta and the young ones born with the characteristic of the adults viviparity provide maximum protection and represent represents the highest degree of parental care this type Uh, parental cares it is a most protective parental cares and they have a highest degree of parental cases thank you